I was looking for a pair of bone conduction headphones for my desktop computer, and I found these. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I love bone conduction headphones. I use some Bluetooth wireless ones for when I'm out walking, doing activities, because they're great. They just vibrate your cheekbones and you can hear the audio of whatever you're listening to, audio books, podcasts, music, and you have your ear canal still open so that you can be aware of the things that are going around you. So people shouting, hey, look out for that car, or beep, beep, move out of the way, or ring, 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 or the ice cream truck, whatever. So it's just a great way to be able to listen to audio devices as well as stay safe. Now, I have wanted something like this for my desktop computer. You might say, why would you care about it at your desktop computer? Well, it's nice because one, I can hear myself talk. And so I know if I'm shouting or if I'm whispering and those types of things. The other thing is if people are walking in or if the doorbell rings or the dog barks or the cat barks, and then you got to take the cat to the vet or the door opens or someone's calling you, whatever. You know, so many people are working from home these days and it's hard to hear things that are going around in your surroundings. So a bone conduction headphone might do the trick now i will say about this there are a bunch of bone conduction headphones that are wired that will plug into just your standard headphone jack and i found those now i have a set of those the problem with most of those is that they are powered and so you have a little power brick in line with the headphone cord and you actually have to charge that in my case with a micro usb and when that dies the headphones stop working so i was really curious about this because as far as i could tell by the pictures it doesn't have any inline power which means it's only going to get power out of the computer now I think there's gonna be a couple things that happen with this one I don't think it's gonna be as loud or as powerful even when you turn the volume all the way up but I do like the idea here that I could plug these in use them whenever without having to worry about the power state or the charge state of the headphones so what we can see here is you do have a three and a half millimeter uh, four pole single prong right there you do have a little lapel clip that slides up and down here and then if we go down to the business end of this flat ribbon here, what you can see is we have an inline microphone right there, and then we have a mode button on the back. Everything's black, jet black, matte black, and then kind of the standard bone conduction headphone style here, the little vibrating earpieces over the ears and around the head. And I have a giant head and this still has plenty of space. I can stick my fingers in the back there. And so I can get these on no problem. So they're very comfortable. They do come in a variety of colors here, some orange, yellow, and blue ones. The black were the most expensive as far as the ones that were available, which doesn't really surprise me. So does it work? Let's try them and find out. What's happening? I've been using these bone conduction headphones. You can see them right there on my cheeks for a little while now. And I have some things that I love about them and some things that I would improve about them. So let me start out with the negatives first, because I think there are a lot of reviews and when I was reading them before ordering this, I think they are fair, but they're not totally accurate. So one of the things that people complain about is that you just can't hear anything. And versus the ones that have this inline amplifier, that is, I think, relatively fair. Now they're not just like regular headphones, they have these little vibrating pads. So I think they consume more energy in order to run. And because you have the convenience and not having to worry about charging them up, you know, they're not going to be quite as loud. Now, I have been playing with the volume and listening to some podcasts and watching some YouTube videos and things like that. And I've been playing with the volume and they work fine for me. They uh, are a little quieter, especially compared to my powered ones, but I have to jack up the volume on my desktop computer to kind of get them to the right volume for me. And that's about 80%. So it's quite a bit higher than the powered ones, which is maybe 30 or 40%. That's kind of where I leave the volume slider. But this one, I kind of slide it all the way up to 80. Even if I slide it up to 100, it's not like they're overly loud, but it's just kind of too loud. It's 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 not like painful loud, but it's just higher than my comfort level. So uh, even on the Max, like I said, it's not quite like using a set of regular headphones. So volume wise, you, you're going to have to think about that. And then you're going to have to um, kind of depend on the power that's being put out from the computer. The other thing that I would improve about this a little bit is the length of the cord. So my desktop computer is right about there. Like I said, this cord is only maybe you know, I call it four feet. I wish it were just a little longer, an extra foot there would be nice. So kind of think about that. If you're using this with a laptop computer and it's sitting right in front of you, then obviously this cord is gonna be more than enough. But for me, uh, just based on where I'm plugging it in, I wouldn't mind just maybe a smidge longer. And so even if I get an extra like foot long headphone cord extension, I'm just not sure if that's going to degrade the quality even further, you know, uh, require more power to kind of push the audio signal through and it even kind of mute it a little bit more. But um, it's it still works. But as you can see, it's still floating right here as I am using it. 
The thing I love about it is that I have open ears here and it does work. And like I said, don't have to worry about charging it. And so the great thing about this is if you just need to kind of stay aware of your surroundings, let's say you're working in an office environment, you're listening to a webinar, you're listening to music, you're listening to recordings, you're on a co conference call, those types of things, and people walk by or you, there's a conversation that you need to jump into or you wanna hear about that uh, tramp Janice in accounting, maybe someone's gonna knock on your door or maybe someone's just calling your name to see if you're busy. You know, if you were on a speakerphone, you'd still hear those things. So the beautiful thing about this is that you will still hear some of those things. You won't be totally oblivious to what's going on. And the great thing is, like I said, whether you're listening to music or something that's not work-related, it won't prevent you from getting into those conversations or being able to respond when you're called on certain things. So I really like these as desktop headphones. You know, it's again, it's not a safety issue here for me. It's just convenience and kind of an awareness issue. So they work pretty well. Again, not super premium, uh, not super great audio quality. They are pretty standard bone conduction head uh, quality. So it's kind of like a little bit like uh, audio through a slightly muffled fabric. You know, it's just, it's kind of like if you were listening to a headphone, but you put a few paper towels or uh, a thin wash rag or something, that's just kind of how it sounds. And so, you know, for really enjoying audio and really getting a crystal clear experience, you want to go to regular headphones or earbuds or something like that. So don't expect that from bone conduction. It's, it's kind of a trade off here, but I think a worthwhile one. And these things are super cheap under 20 bucks. So if you want to pick them up, I'll put a link to them in the description below. Peter Von Panda out.